Hey there folks, long time no see. <laughs> Today, we're gonna be talking about the bats! Hey there folks, long time no see. I have come back like I always do. And today I have something really interesting to present you. We've been building animatronics for a really long time by now. Some projects were usually classic, some were experimental, some were questionable to say the least. But this time I'm going to do the thing that no one other had done to live-action FNAF animatronics. I'm going to upload AI program into them. First of all, I'm gonna explain how animatronics usually work. I'll try to explain it briefly, so don't worry, you won't have to get a degree in engineering or robotics to understand me. So, let's see. Why haven't people implemented AI into animatronic robots specifically? AI is all over the place today. We use it in our everyday life, while scientists have been using all this stuff since 1960s. After all, in FNAF itself, we have animatronics using AI. The new secret of the Mimic game is going to be set in late 70s, and we already have that Mimic 1 software which is confirmed time and time again to be a complex AI thing. Well, you see, the animatronics that are built and used in real life just don't need AI technologies. There are actually several types of animatronics that exist and serve different purposes. The ones which were used in the movies back in the days when CGI wasn't a common thing, and the ones to perform in theme park, pizza places and stuff like that. The animatronics which were built for the FNAF movie used remote controls. Many animatronics in the movies use the same operational method. You see, while shooting a ton of different scenes, it is way easier to control each movement manually, depending on the situation so you don't have to reprogram your animatronic characters every time or explain the AI program what and when it should do. It is actually a good way to go. Many creators of the FNAF fandom had been operating their animatronics using remotes. Sometimes it is easier to make the robots perform complex and lifelike movements when you control each one of its joints manually. The other type is pre-programmed animatronics, like the ones used in real-life pizza places. The characters have a data of songs and show routines that they have to perform. There is no place for AI, and there is no reason for the robot to be thinking and coming up with an idea since all the movements can be pre-programmed. While the remote-controlled robots are usually just a bunch of motors or actuators fixed in the joints of a doll in the skeleton, the pre-programmed characters are a bit more complex. They usually have some sort of controllers, like the one I'm holding right now. Every motor or driver or sensor is connected here, and the program is written so the animatronics acts the way it should. This is actually the way we've been building our animatronics all these years. And the question still remains, what function can AI perform in this type of robots? The shows, the songs can easily be pre-programmed. To make the robot walk or move any other way, you can just add a bunch of sensors so it won't crash into a wall, it will be aware of its surroundings, it can recognize people, etc. My first idea was to use AI to allow the animatronic to consciously talk to you, like those chatbots over there. Allowing the robot to, let's say, chat GPT data will make it not only conscious but a lot more clever so you can have Freddy Fazbear himself helping you with your homework. But here's the thing, we already have chatbots to serve this purpose, and the animatronic robots weren't designed to help people finding the information in the first place. They were designed for entertainment. Of course we can have a uh, chatbot act like a certain character, like uh, character AI or something, which can be useful for animatronics. But they are almost all-time stage performers. They dance and sing songs, there is not much time for the live conversation with the audience. So the goal of my project was to implement AI algorithm directly into the show routines of the animatronics. A little bit specifically, since uh, the other ones have uh, better things to do, I guess. The whole computer inside this animatronic is running a program to control its movements depending on the song which is playing. Let me explain. An algorithm inside this animatronic analyzes the song before playing it and writes a movement program for it itself. If the song is fast, the movements are going to be more energetic and if the song is more melancholic, the animatronic will move slower. The jaw movements will also be automatically aligned with the lyrics of the song. This can be really useful for all of the animatronic shows, cause the technicians and programmers won't have to manually write all the movement scripts. 
they now can be written automatically by the animatronics themselves. Only thing you need to do is to upload a bunch of songs and this fella will perform them for you. Finally, we came to a testing phase. Let's see how this program is going to operate a freestanding character. I uploaded several songs from FNAF there, let's turn it on and see. Well, not too bad for the first time, I guess. There is also a movement program I wrote myself, you know, a pathetic human. So let's turn it on and compare this one to the AI generated show routine. So that's it folks, hope you enjoyed my little experiment, see you next time.